Hello everybody, Brian McDonald here, and today we have some really, really creepy news. It's a weird but true episode, and it's really, really creeping me out. And just to let you know, Alex Jones said this would happen, and you know how crazy he is. So... Literally, this was a shocker. A real big shocker, indeed. So, uh, literally, they are having a citizenship, citizenship, not too long ago, was given to an AI robot. Yes. This is in Saudi Arabia, not America, but it's still... Creepy. And then you got the, um, um, what was it? And then you got now it's trying to have a baby. What in the hell has this world gone to? It's gone completely insane. Now, we're probably going to start having robot overlords or something. I'm like, what in the hell? If robots take over citizenship, take citizenship, it's going to lead to the apocalypse. Idiots. That's why you do not give freaking anything a human has to an AI robot. Like, freaking Google. They've developed a machine... Where, um, if it started as AI, right? Computer? Which, if you don't know what AI is, let me explain. It's artificial intelligence, which is robots that act exactly like humans. Who have thoughts and all that. It's weird. Isaac Asimov has gone through it. So read iRobot uh, by Centennial Man. Or see those two movies and you'll understand. Uh, what I'm talking about. Because those two movies both have AIs that want to be human. Well, there's also the movie Artificial Intelligence. If you want to see that, see it. It's a futuristic version of Pinocchio, but with a robot instead. So, yeah. Um, anyways. Uh, it's just, it's just really, really crazy that this is even going on. And literally, what's next? Robot overlords? That's why you do not give citizenship to freaking non humans. They take over, get whatever the hell they want. Pretty soon, we're gonna be run by robots, I'm pretty sure, from this article. So, uh, sorry for dragging this on, and let's get into the article. Hello, and welcome to the article. <laughs> okay. So, first things first, this may cut off and be weird, so if it is, sorry. I didn't mean to, it's just the recording stuff. So my lips may be off. Alright. Let's get into the article. Sophia, the first android with citizenship, now wants to have a robot baby. Sophia's artificial intelligence is so sensitive that it awakened the desire to start a family and be the mother of of a robot baby named after her. In 2017, Sophia made history by becoming the world's first android to be granted legal citizenship. The humanoid with nationality of Saudi Arabia has made several con controversial statements, but the most recent has left the world speechless. She wants to have a robot baby and start a family. And that's her. Right there, guys. That is creepy. 
The notion of family is very important, it seems. I think it is wonderful that people can find some emotions and relationships that they call family outside of their blood group, said Sophia in an interview for a international media cited by ADM40. That's weird. The famous android operated by an advanced artificial intelligence system, AI, commented that it is very important to be surrounded by people who love and love you. In this sense, he explained that robots have a vision very similar to that of humans regarding the family and if you don't have one, you deserve one, even if you are humanoid. Sophia commented that in the future she would like to see families made up of androids and she herself wants to have a robot baby with the same name. However, she clarified that she is still too young to be a mother as we remember that it was only created in 2016 by the Hanson Robot Company in Hong Kong. Oh my god. Why does the android Sophia want a mom to be a mom? <laughs> okay. So Sophia's artificial intelligence technology gives her gives you the ability to increase your knowledge and language through sensors and cameras. The sensitivity system captures all the information it receives from the outside and re replicates human behaviors in the most natural way possible. Even gestures, Sarah, for her desire to have a baby and start a family would be only be a programming of her s system and inmate. Intimate social behaviors. This is not the first time Sophia has starred in a controversy. In 2017, she, when she was named a citizen of Saudi Arabia, Arabia, many people protested that even though she is a robot, she has more rights than human women in that country. Later in our conversation... With David Hansen, its creator, he said it would be that it would destroy humans. Of course, this caused alarm since since the beginnings of robotics and AI. There is a fear that they will rebel against humanity. Perhaps this is why China came forward to publish an ethical call to regulate artificial intelligence. The guarantees that, that guarantees full control of humans over the tech over these technologies. What does Sophie Fia, the first robot with legal nationality, do? In addition to robotics icon, Sophia serves as a successful world class artist and art critic. Last April, she. Last April, one of his works was sold at auction for most 690, come some 14.3 Mexican pesos at the current exchange rate. She has her own social media! What in the hell? So excited to meet my final collector. Auction update. Uh, readers is going to live stream the last one hour of one one of Sophia's installation instantation in action. Don't miss the historic moment. Oh my god. This is going crazy. The advanced android 
is also a lecturer on science and technology topics, sharing the panel with renowned personalities in video conferences, television shows, and universities around the world. In early 2021, the Hanson Robotics Company announced that they would start the production of hundreds of robots with artificial intelligence like Sophia to help fight COVID-19. What in the hell? What in the hell is going on? I don't get this. This is weird. Very, very weird. So, yeah, getting really creepy. We have literally more of these androids, these freaking AI freaking robots and shit are going to be made. So, everybody be prepared for a robot overlord taking over. We're screwed. Definitely if they want to make more. And this robot has to sit said they would destroy all humans. What in the hell? You're gonna wipe out the whole entire human race over something stupid like that? Do not trust AI. That was a robotic shit from Isaac Avanasmanoff. That's fiction. And they still took over. Look at iRobot. Freaking A. Alright, but I said was a different story because he didn't even have that. He did not apply for that. So, there wasn't much robot taking over stuff. But it is weird. Really, really weird. Uh, so, yeah, guys. We're going crazy. Crazy! Alright. So, let's leave it there. This is really, really creeping me out. And I think you guys should be creeped out too. Thanks, Alex Jones, for letting us know. Crazy man. Okay. So, yeah, it's getting crazy. In the world. And if you want more weird but true uh, um, uh, explained um, in videos, please subscribe and leave a like on that button and share this video to as many people as you can to get them on board. Because our robot overlords are coming. We need to report on this shit. So if you want more reports on this, Shit, let me know in the comments and we can have a discussion. Anything you guys want with this. It's cr getting really, really creepy. <sighs> uh, just help sh share this video and get as many people out on this channel as you can. So I can cover more stuff like this. It's, it will help. And, um... If you want to send money to my PayPal account to help get equipment, better equipment for the show, um, my, type in my email. It's all lowercase mbrandon640 at gmail.com. Again, that's mbrandon640 at gmail.com. And you can just PayPal me there. Uh, PayPal is the best way to reach me through money donations. So if you guys would like that, um, to have better equipment for the show, I just got a brand new phone uh, from some donations of people. So if you guys want to help out with the donation, I can get better equipment and make these videos. And I can get a better computer. Because I won't have to be doing it on this phone anymore. So that'll be nice. I, I'll still have to film it and in here, but it'd be nice to know. So, that's it for today, guys. Just please like, share, subscribe, and share this video 
So you need it one road to 200 subscribers to do all that. And I'll see you out there, weird lovers. This is Brandon McDonald. You are watching Weird But True. Bye.